Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Web Today I am going to start off with the basic topic of web designing which is HTML. As the HTML full form stands for its hypertext markup language. We'll be seeing in this what exactly we meant by hypertext markup language. HTML is the standard markup language for web pages. HTML is helpful in creating our own websites. That means people nowadays everybody wish to become an entrepreneur. To become an entrepreneur, you need to market your products out. So since you need to market your products out, you need to either develop a web page or you need to develop an app. But majority of the organizations try making a web app, web site because it is easily available for everyone to access across the globe. So that is the main reason why people learn to create a website of your own. But there are many templates which are available that you can use. But to get a hands on it, you need to know first your basics. So we'll be starting with the basic of HTML. What is HTML? As I said, it stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Just a small review of how this term came into picture. That is Hypertext Markup Language. In HTML, everything that we write, it is in the form of a text format. And whatever we'll be doing, it is will be a linking from one page to an another. So that is called as a marking. And we do it with a hyperlink. That means a text which is allowing you to click to connect to many pages. That's why the term derived was hypertext markup language. And it's a standard language for many web pages. It basically describes the structure of a web page. HTML element tells the browser how to display the content. So it is basically going to tell you how the GUI should look like. Basics of HTML tag. Here, the most important tags in HTML are defined with by heading, paragraph, body and line breaks. Some ideas about it. First of all, HTML tags are represented between angular brackets. That means less than and a greater than symbol. Every tag is represented inside a less than symbol and a greater than symbol. And you need to close those tags by less than symbol slash and greater than symbol. The name of the tag will appear in between these angular brackets. Now, there are two types of tags. There are two types of tags. Some tags are called as container tags. Some are called as standalone tags. Standalone tags are those tags which doesn't need a closing. And container tags are those which need a closing. As we move ahead, we'll be understanding what exactly is a standalone tag and what exactly are the containers tag. But the basic difference is stand alone as the term itself says that it is standing alone by itself. So it doesn't need a closing tag. It don't require. And those which are container as it's the term itself says it's contained. So it needs a closing tag. This is the rough idea about what are tags. Moving ahead, we need to know the structure of the HTML tag. So before we jump into the structure of the HTML tag, a small example. Example is about a letter writing. We all have written letters in our school even in our colleges and in fact maybe now when we have to take permission from any particular teacher or in the college or anything we are still writing formal letters and we do have an informal letter as well to get a rough idea about how your html document is created i am taking this example now when you talk about a letter you need to have an address 
to whom you are writing plus you need to mention your address too so that they know from whom the letter is coming then you have a subject which you need to mention as the title of your letter then you have a body where you mention the content of your particular letter and at the end you have the closing like yours faithfully or yours sincerely same thing is converted into html this is a easy method for you to remember how we can do that so now in html as we know we need to have a start and a closing that's the format given to us when we write a letter address has to be top and at the end it should be your name whom you are saying it is written by you and you are closing so we have first our html tag as we are starting to write html so it has to be an html tag and then you need to have a closing tag as well for html so html becomes your container tag so that's the main start and the end then we have two main important tags in between one is the head tag one is a head tag even that's a container tag followed by a body tag which too is a container tag so you need to have a body closing as well so we have an address which talks about the start we have yours faithfully which is your html closing we have a body which is mentioned over here now we have a subject now subject is basically the title of your letter so here inside our head tag we have one more tag that is called as title and which is also a container tag so this is how we have the main important part of our html file that is html followed by head tag inside which will have the title tag followed by the body tag and then followed by the closing of html tag now in between body tag there will be multiples of tags that you can try doing it and we'll be learning that as we go ahead i explained few tags already so basic of html tags so html stands for defining an html document head defines the information about the document as i said we'll be writing title inside head so it tells you ki what exactly are we trying to explain over here so that is the title that is the subject matter which has been mentioned body the documents body h1 to h6 are the header tags which helps us to give a heading to our page or anywhere in our page you need a heading then you can use h1 to h6 then to define a paragraph tag you have a p tag and this is for a line break and this is for the horizontal tag these tags are inside body tag we'll be seeing the syntax and the format of it writing ahead so first is the html tag where the document starts so this element tells the browser that this is an html document this tag is defined at the top of the html file and at the end of the file as i showed you it starts with html and it ends with html in between is the remaining data which is the body of your page so there is an example which is given which talks about html html closing body and the body closing this is my first page so at your browser page you will be having the output onto your browser page that is this is my first page the next tag that we saw was the head tag the head tag defines the information about the document what kind of information is basically the title that we have but there are more tags that we can use with them is base link meta script and style so this will be using when there is a need for it like link is when you are using an external file you need to attach it with the code that you have written then you will be using link script 
goes for your JavaScript coding and further more of the scripting languages come with a script tag. Style is for your cascading style sheet. So right now there is a small example which has been shown as a format where you are typing title as basic tag. So onto your browser page. As we can see our Chrome browser. So onto our title where we always get to see like if you are opening a Gmail, you get to see a Gmail return over. So there will be the title as basic tag. So this is how your HTML page will be displayed. Title tag is a part of the head tag. So title tag defines the title of the document which appears in the title bar of the explorer window. And the format is head tag open followed by title tag. Then you mention with what is the title of the page and then title close and head close. Whichever tags are closing, they are called as container tags. And whichever tag doesn't need a closing, it is called as a standalone tag. Body tag, the most important part of the HTML document. Because whatever you will be declaring inside the body tag, whatever you type inside the body tag is what going to be displayed onto your browser page. So there are different formattings that you can do with the body tag. You must have seen many of the browser pages or many of the website that you open. It is not always blank. If you open a Chrome browser, it is always white in color. But if you open a specific websites where you have color combinations, like specifically the website belonging to kids, they have color combinations maxed into it. So they are trying to get those colors to get students attracted towards them or kids attracted to learn those things from their website. So that component is called as background color. So in your body tag, you have an option to change the body color. To change the body color, the pattern to write is called as BG color. That is called as background color. So you can give a specific color to your background and your background color will be changed to the color that you have mentioned. Even you can give images as a background and those images will be visible onto your screen. Examples based on these particular things will be coming up in the next video. Do watch my video, like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.